Yeah. Pepe left me too. Eugenia's brother. Yeah. As long as I allowed him to shuffle me around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the minute I was like doing something else and he got really upset. I really not go. Despite and regardless. Hideous, yes, hideous he went. I left it, like me, I left it. See, I, I just recorded it. You see, it's two voices, right? I only, I only did two sections. I did it section by section. Because of the rhythm. Because I have to be in unison, it's really hard. Remember, I just sing into the void. And then I have to equalize this, the harmony and the rhythm to another voice without actually hearing it on my iPhone, iMovie. So I actually looked it up just in case this time on YouTube, randomly. So I recorded the first voice, the second voice, or vice versa. I don't know which one first. And then I went to the second section. I recorded the first voice. And then my iPhone movie told me too many tracks. I can't do another one. I couldn't do the last one. I only had two, th three tracks. I looked up the whole video. There were only three tracks. I only needed one more. How often do I record this? But is the voice heavier? Like early in the day, I recorded, I stopped it and I stopped it. That means there was at least five or six tracks on it. So what I, uh, do you know how frustrating that is? So I download the whole thing. Then I upload it again, now to cut it. But now when I upload, I can't see the tracks anymore. That means how am I going to balance the fourth voice to the third one? Well, I just did it the way it went, and it's just, uh, somehow, right? I mean, what can I do here? Can't do much. It's hard. But I think I did more than I did the first time. I definitely more than I did the second time. Yeah, Pepe was a real narsal. I kind of fell into his love, I think. Yeah, after Julia wasn't up for her, him, <laughs> I wasn't up for him either. And he shuffled me around despite and regardless. And then he went, he there too. Never mind for that, something else. But isn't that like the, the, the lastima of our society? Lastima. The heaviness. That we just don't get feedback from the people who say they love us. They just don't support us. They don't let us know. They take us for granted, or they, maybe they don't like us and they look they look away, or they're too busy, they're too busy doing other things, getting caught up in the I don't know usual. Yeah, I thought a lack of education didn't matter when there's honesty and purity involved, but there was probably none of the above. Because not looking also includes the dishonesty of not being involved. And in real life, you cannot afford to not be involved. The daily living, it requires more. Didn't I told my cousins that turned out real assholes and mom was there. But the father, he provided, yeah. He brought in money and, you know, the car to bring them to the school and the vacations. But was he present? Or were they just meant to become assholes? And his wife got an illness. So he, she wasn't his wife. Was he present? Oh, she still lived in that nice little apartment. Or large apartment in this nice place. She had no worries about money. I do. Meaning food. And she got real ill because he wasn't present. And what am I getting on this side? I mean, check. Can you tell me, please, which way should I go?
That depends on where you want to go. I don't even know where I am. 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 Cold cream soup tastes cold, cold, cold. Want me your wife, but 